Welcome to Q&A Thursday. I am your coach, Tandar Tanavoli. Today's topic is how to stay true to yourself and others. Let's begin. I'm stuck in a very bad spot. I saw my best friend's boyfriend with another woman and they were not just having a conversation. She has been with him for four years and it will break her heart when I tell her. I just don't know how to do it so it hurts her less and I'm not caught in the middle. Please help, coach. Thank you very much for reaching out. Before we begin the session, just have to make sure to tell you that the most important thing here is that you're 100% sure of what you saw. And then after that, what I really appreciated about your email here is that you said, when I approach my friend, not if I approach my friend. So you have made up your mind that you're going to talk to her and you're going to let her know about what you know. And please remember that your friend's boyfriend has already taken the risk and taken that upon himself to show up in a public place. He has taken that chance and you were not infringing on someone's privacy. So with that all being said, Let's get you started on the coaching session. Number one, honesty wins every time. Just the simplest way to solve any problem is honesty. Being honest with yourself and being honest with others. Why is honesty so important? It's actually one of my top values. My number one value is honesty because I believe that if I'm most honest with myself and with others, I will be most respected and honored and understood the best. If I am most honest with myself, I'll also be able to recognize whether someone is honest with me or not. And honesty doesn't mean that it's convenient, that it's comfortable. It also means that you're taking a chance of putting yourself out there to be judged, to be questioned, to be doubted by those who don't believe in honesty, by those who don't follow the rules of honesty. So the fact that you're taking this information to your friend takes courage on your part and honesty on your part. So good for you. And that brings us to tip number two. Tell him to. As you mentioned, your best friend has been dating this man for four years. That means in those four years, you must have interacted with him many, many times and built up a friendship there. And it's always good to know both sides of a story. What you're doing here is you're telling him, I'm aware of what's going on and I saw, but I'm just telling you what I'm about to do. You're giving him a chance to explain something to you. And you would know it in your heart if he's telling the truth or not, because you're an honest person and you know the truth, and that way you would have all the solid information you need to have at hand in order to sit down with your girlfriend at that table. And that brings us to number three. Ask the right questions. Asking the right questions is always brings you the right answers. She probably knows, but she's either in denial or she's hoping that it would have changed or you don't know exactly what's going on in that relationship. So your line of questioning and your approach here matters a lot. Remember, your friend is in pain. You can ask her very gently, has his attitude changed lately? Has there been anything different? Have they had any fights lately? And remind her that also that you'll be there with her every second of the way. You're not there just to deliver a message there. You're there to make sure she's okay. So ask the right questions to bring her focus to where the actual problem is. Which brings us to our last point, and that's number four. Again, empathy is key. You're delivering a message that's not only hard to deliver on your part, it's very hard to receive. And also keep in mind that the message you're delivering to your friend is a very painful one. So she will not be reacting out of gentleness, out of a place of calm and peace. Her reactions are based on the information she's receiving and has nothing to do with you. 
in this case on whatever she decides to do also that decision is not yours to make on what she should and she shouldn't do she knows her relationship and herself best but what you need to do as her best friend is to be sensitive towards her pain to empathize with her pain have compassion have kindness give her support that she needs and that way she'll know that no matter what you'll always be that truthful friend who's there to be there for her out of the love of your heart i hope this served you please write back with your updates i would love to hear back from you and for those of you in vancouver british columbia i have a seminar coming up on september 24th called a journey within and I would love to see you all there. You can go to tandertanavoli.com slash events to sign up. And I can't wait to see you all next week. Until then, keep happy and healthy.